Welcome to day 14 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're going to install a custom cookie consent model on our Webflow website. We'll be using the FinSuite cookie consent plugin and then we'll go step by step on how to install that on our website and customize it to match our theme. Without further ado, let's jump to it. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and turn on that notification bell so you get tuned on my 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's go. All right, so let's build this cookie consent model. First thing is to go and download that Chrome extension, the FinSuite Chrome extension. You can go to finsuite.com slash extension and you can find it there. Once you download it, refresh your page, you will see the FinSuite plugin here installed, like you'll see this logo here. And then you go on candies and there is the cookie consent candy and then you can choose from some of these uh, models that they have, like they have it as an example, so you can see how it is, you can accept or deny, you can see this pop up, and you can choose one of them depending on your needs. And then once you choose, so I'm gonna choose this one, you copy, you go to your project, so on the page, you just paste it inside. So this is it. Now what you need to do is that div lock that you just pasted, create it as a component, you can call this cookies, and then you will need to first let's style a little bit, just let's okay so now that we have this ready and styled to our liking, let's also change that overlay color, so it's here, uh, fin suite overlay, let's just make it dark and now that we have it ready, we'll just need to go to these three elements inside our recently built component and just set them to hide. So you hide all three. So after we made this component and hid everything inside, we will need to install the script tag. So if you go on the FinSuite plugin, you go back to candies, cookies, consent, you go to the official documentation and uh, you go to step three, I believe, set up. Yeah, and then you, you can customize this here. There's a lot to do here, uh, depending on the needs and the situation of how you're collecting or how you're adding cookies to your users. So you just go through this and go into the details of it. We're using the informational cookie message and then we copy the step three here. And then we just go and paste it in our head settings. So that will be here and I've already have it. So save and then you publish. And then once you publish, it might not appear because I've already did this, but let's see. Yeah, so it's, it's here, you can see that it's here, it's set up, but we will need to check this in incognito mode. Let's see this here. So you can see it's popping up here and then you can accept or deny. And this is how you install that. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope I taught you something here. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and drop me any comments if you have any. Stay tuned on this 100 days of Fofla journey. See you tomorrow.